Good morning, this is Greg, N4KGL. I'm going to be uh, operating uh, Parks on the Air and also the uh, W-VE uh, Island QSO Party. I'm here at uh, the Okaloosa Island Day Use Area, which is part of Gulf Islands National Seashore. It's a national park. It's one of uh, a dozen different sites within that <clears throat> one national park, Gulf Islands National Seashore. And uh, we like this location because it uh, has uh, access to the salt water. We're gonna be using a um, N6BT Bravo 7K vertical out here. Uh, we'll run a coax from the picnic area out here, and uh, we're looking forward to a, <clears throat> a good day. It will be warm, but not as warm as it has been, I don't believe. So it's August 24th, and uh, I think in the shade that we'll be doing okay. So we'll set up the gear. It is uh, 9.30 and maybe we'll be operating by uh, 10 o'clock and uh, work some other islands and anyone interested in uh, parks on the air. Okay, our antenna setup uh, out here on the saltwater shore is the uh, N6 Bravo Tango uh, Bravo 7K. Uh, vertical antenna and uh, we're going to take advantage of the salt water effect and uh, I'm a real believer in the salt water effect and so we have a long uh, 100 plus foot coax back to the picnic area and uh, right now the antenna is set up for 40 uh, it's pretty easy. I can just change the jumpers and go to 20. Uh, we'll see how that works for us. All right, uh, here is Susie here at the uh, uh, setup here at uh, Okaloosa Island, also known as uh, uh, Santa Rosa Island. We're doing um, Parks on the Air and U.S. Islands QSO Party. And uh, we have uh, uh, 34 uh, sideband contacts on um, 40. Uh, and then we got uh, 7 CW. So that's 40 all together. Uh, so pleased with that. So uh, certainly the vertical uh, on the salt water is uh, working for us, uh, and uh, next I'm probably going to go to uh, 20. Things have slowed down a little bit. Uh, this is the uh, setup here uh, with the uh, ICOM 7100 and uh, the key and so forth. And uh, I'll show you kind of the setup here. Uh, at the park, uh, <clears throat> uh, we've got our pop-up canopy, and uh, so Susie can get some shade. And uh, actually, our rig is out here in the sunshine. I'm going to pull it back because uh, the heat will uh, affect it eventually. Uh, but uh, we're going to walk out and change our antenna over to uh, 20 meters. So we'll show you what's going on up here. I see some uh, paddle boards and fortunately nobody seems to have uh, run into the antenna here, which is the Bravo 7K. We'll be coming up on here shortly. And... Uh, so, you know, a day on the shore, this is actually the bay side uh, here on the island. And uh, people are really enjoying themselves. And we're going to change our antenna over uh, for 20 meters. 
All right, all we had to do was just change the jumpers on each side. Actually, it takes the coils out. And uh, so this antenna is full size for 20 meters. And uh, so it works very nicely. And we'll get a shot here of the uh, uh, crystal clear water down here. <laughs> And all this, I think I'm going to get a question over here. Hello. We're curious. Uh, it's an antenna for amateur radio. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like the CB. Well, but like, but we have a lot more uh, frequencies we can operate bands. Yeah. Cool. So uh, I'm over the dune there. Uh, with my setup, so. So you're talking to people in Panama City and Pensacola? No, uh, uh, oh, Canada, um, uh, uh, Kentucky, Ohio, New Jersey, wow. Mississippi, Texas. And the Air Force Base doesn't block anything from <laughs> No. The but uh, we like to get the antenna right here on the salt water because the salt water helps our signal so that's why we picked this spot yeah i would never thought anything about salt or water <laughs> yeah that's yeah cool. it helps all right yeah. we were curious so i was like yeah maybe they're tracking <laughs> an eagle or something and they've got a yeah because you, know, you know you'll tag a bird there is a bird that lives in the tree uh-huh and every afternoon you see them yeah no, we're just. My guess was, so I'm, wrong. I'm just having fun talking to other people like myself. Some of them are at home, and some of them are also on islands. So we're having a little contest going on. You know, okay. see it. So. Congratulations, Greg. That's right. Kathy Davis. <laughs> All right, Kathy. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. And where are you from here? Uh, Panama City. Mm -hmm. Did you get me from the hurricane? Uh, we were just out, out of town for a week, and when the power came back on, we got back in our house. So we were lucky. You were lucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, that All right. That was a good guess, though. Yeah. Have a nice day. You too. All right. CQ, 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 Islands QSO party. All right. Uh, we're wrapping up here uh, for the U.S. Islands QSO party, also Parks on the Air. Um, uh, I almost had too many contacts, uh, but um, uh, the total ended up being 124 uh, total uh, four, on 40 meters. I had 44 on 20, I had 80. Uh, that's a combination of phone and CW. Um, so I got plenty of uh, radio out here. I got lots of reports from all over the country and uh, Canada. Uh, one station in Germany. So very pleased with the setup. Uh, we're going to tear down. It's uh, about 3.15 and I hear a little bit of thunder. So it's been an awesome day. Um, I look forward to doing it again. Uh, so 73 and 44 uh, for Parks on the Air, and uh, we'll see you in another video, 73.